Oh yeah. Need to start learning how to memorize lines. I'm just reading off my phone. What's up you guys, it's Clorinda here. Welcome back to my brand new YouTube channel. Um, if you've never met me before, my name is Clorinda and I am a digital marketing strategist. I'm currently freelancing as a digital marketer, used to be a 9 to 5 and um, now I'm working towards running a business that I can scale long term. So today I wanted to talk about Notion. So I am quite new to Notion. I'm still kind of figuring out how to use the software, um, but I thought I would share with you my journey and how I've set my stuff up, my life, you know, etc, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, so initially before discovering Notion, I kind of, I've always been quite organized, you know, I've got lists, I've got um, a remarkable tablet, I've used Asana, and I've tried a bunch of different things to kind of manage my day-to-day -day tasks, especially now when I all the responsibility is on me. Um, you know, it's I've always been looking for kind of a software to track my entire life. And, um, you know, Asana didn't quite make the cut. A few other things I tried didn't make the cut. And so I started uh, looking online for a few different ways that I can kind of solve that problem. And then I started hearing about Notion from some of my friends and did some digging and now I am completely in love. So yeah, today I wanted to share with you why I love Notion and you know, I currently use it to schedule out content on my social platforms, my website um, and this YouTube channel as well. It is still very new, it's bare bones, um, but I thought maybe it can help someone or uh, inspire someone to do something similar. So I learned how to use Notion from a couple of YouTubers. The first time I ever watched a video about Notion was from Ali Abdal. He's amazing. I love him. And um, there were a bunch of other ones, you know, videos on how to organize your life. And everyone has kind of a different system as to how they organize their day-to-day -day tasks. And so I've kind of got some ideas from them. And I also put together my own way of structuring things based on my needs. So... Um, if you are a freelance digital marketer and uh, marketing on multiple platforms and you're also just trying to manage your personal life, you know, trying to stay fit, trying to stay active, trying to make sure you've got the good habits going on and stuff, this might be a video for you to kind of, you know, get some inspiration from maybe. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's where I'm at and um, I just wanted to show you where I am. So we're going to hop into my laptop screen share thingy now. Um, should probably mention, if you do like this video, please subscribe. I know it's new, there's not a lot of content on there, but I am planning to churn out more. Um, so yeah, if you like me, subscribe. If you don't like me, you can tell me you don't like me and just go away. I'm not going to be offended. But that being said, let's move on to the video. Alright, what's up you guys? So I actually did film this yesterday when I was wearing the same clothes and had makeup on, but I rewatched that video and it was pretty shit, so I thought I would do it again. Um, also, I've updated a couple things in the last few days and I wanted to share those updates with you as well. So I'm going to be talking about a bunch of personal life stuff, but mostly content planning because this is basically a game changer if you guys are trying to figure out how to plan content across multiple platforms. So let's go straight into it. Um, so my dashboard is basically my um, headquarters where I put my main stuff that I want to keep notice of in here, um, which is why I have a little home icon here. And the first thing I'll see when I open up this dashboard in the beginning of the day is my habit tracker. So it just kind of it gives me a reminder of things that I want to get done every single day as much as possible anyway. Um, today is Wednesday so these are just a bunch of things that I wanted to you know keep consistent with so screen time, drinking water, journaling, sleeping, exercise and so that's why I've got this here. It's across seven days um, and because it doesn't have like a rolling period unfortunately I you know at the end of the week I just delete everything and kind of refresh from, from Monday again and then moving down from that I've got a little journal entry thing on the left side. Now obviously you can tell that I haven't been super consistent with this but I am I eventually will be hopefully um, but yeah I wanted to show you how it works so the journal entries basically are templates so what I do is when I create a new journal I just um, you know when I let's say this is all blank let's close that 
um, I basically can create a new template by clicking on that. And it just loads all those pre-filled questions in here. And all I have to do is answer those questions and complete my journal entry. And it's taking a while to load, but hopefully you saw a couple of those questions before. So I'm just gonna skip out. Okay, so moving on from that, I have a task list. So this is the first thing I see so that I know exactly what I need to do for that day. Um, you can see from here, I have quite a few tasks, but they are scheduled according to due date, which is great. So I've got one overdue task, which is actually filming and creating this video. Um, and then I'm planning my emails for next month as well. So this task list is basically my master task list. So this involves all the tasks that I have to do for my business, um, be it content planning, marketing, interacting with clients, getting new clients, um, whatever it is I need to do for my business, it's all in here. And so if I show you my actual page with this task list, um, the individual page, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is my master task list and you can see I've got way more tasks scheduled than um, you saw before. And once again, it's scheduled according to, it's, it's sorted according to the due date, but you can also see that I've um, listed them according to the platforms that they, uh, the content is going on or you know how it's related. So basically this is my business name and um, I am kind of, anything here is basically admin stuff. And then if you see YouTube, then I'm, it's a YouTube video. If it's Instagram, it's Instagram content. So it looks really complicated right now, but I love it this way at the moment because I basically know exactly what I need to do for today to feel like, you know, I've had a really productive day. But obviously this is too messy for anyone to figure out. And so I wanted to break this down for you to show you how I make it super easy and super accessible. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you this weekly content schedule that I have. Um, and basically the way that I put this together is it's a table. And I thought to myself, well, how, how often do I want to be posting on separate platforms? So I decided I wanted to do five Instagram posts a week, one blog post, one YouTube video, and then um, just daily posts in my Facebook group and weekly emails as well. So I actually have two weekly emails. So I'm just going to add that in here. Um, and then now that I know how many times a week I want to be posting, I basically just split them across the week so that I know how, how much content needs to be done per day of the week. And then um, let's say today is Wednesday, 31st of March. I can see on Wednesday, these are the pieces of content that I need to have scheduled, which is really useful. And it's also useful for planning out my content um, separately on platforms as well. And so I'll show you how that ties in together now. So from that master task list, the way that I view the different platform contents separately is that I've created the list for each kind of platform. So for example, with this YouTube video um, page, if you scroll down, you'll see that I've actually linked the database from the master task list, but I've also set up a filter so that it only shows YouTube tasks. Um, and the great thing about this is not only do I know all the YouTube video ideas I have lined up for the future. If I do create a new task and write stuff in there, it automatically becomes assigned as a YouTube video idea task as well. And then within each of these tasks, I have a um, YouTube progress property, um, which basically, well, I'm not going to show you the difference, but it's like to film, to edit, to optimize, to post, that kind of stuff. And then I've got when the video should be ready to go and when the video is meant to be scheduled. So this current video that I'm filming now should be scheduled by the 2nd of April. Um, and it is a little bit overdue in terms of the creation, but I do know I have a bit of leeway in there. So that's how I do things. I like to give myself a bit of space just in case things happen. Um, so yeah, the same thing is basically the case for my Instagram. So on Instagram, I also have my um task list here you know these are the pieces of content that i'm planning to create so instagram it was five times a week and so you've got like all my schedule dates on here and I, i've also like categorized what kind of content i want to be putting up and then moving on from that i also split them into two separate task lists so i've got one where it's a content lineup because they haven't been created yet and then I've also got a separate table for the ones that have already been scheduled and posted. So my Instagram account is very new, which is why I only have like a couple of pieces of content at the moment. Um, but you'll also see that I've got quite a bunch lined up for the next few days. And as I keep brainstorming with my Instagram content, I'm just going to add more and more on here. Um, 
and so yeah i mean it's super easy you know when i have a, a great idea on instagram i don't like have to hustle and like figure out okay where do i save these ideas i go straight to notion click on instagram create a new one a new task open that task up and then i just brain dump everything so I forgot to mention within this page as well, I've also created content templates that I can use. So let's say I'm creating an Instagram post. I just click on Instagram. And what it does is first of all, it automatically categorizes this page as an Instagram post page. Um, and it links my little icon here as well. So I know it's, it's easy to identify. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then the template basically is really simple. It just has my idea dump. So all the ideas I have, I just dump in here. Um, sometimes when you're in the flow, you just want to keep writing and that's why I put all that stuff. And then I have my caption, hashtag and image. So I upload the image when I created it. I do my hashtag research and I paste it in here. And then I write my captions based on my idea dump. So then once that's all done, I just, you know, categorize the content according to the Instagram type of content I'm creating. And then um, I leave this task. And then on here, I'll just schedule, okay, let's see when it's next due. It says that the last thing that I've got scheduled is on the 5th of April. Um, and it says on my weekly content schedule that um, let's say Thursday, I'm not meant to be posting anything. So I don't know what the date Friday is. I don't even know if that's actually the 5th of April. But just in case, um, basically, I want to be posting the next piece of content on Friday, which is the 6th of April, I think. I'm just making this up, but you get the idea. So it, it makes me, it makes it super easy for me to know when the next piece of content is going to be ready. And um, then I just, you know, put it yeah. And then moving, usually for Instagram content, I post, I create it on the day. Um, for now, I do need a better system for that. But then I just, you know, let's say you want to be more prepared. You can also put the due date, like all the same due dates. Let's say the 31st of March for six pieces of content and then have different schedule dates, things like that. So yeah, that is how I prepare my content planning. It's been a game changer for me. I absolutely love the system. Um, so I'm really happy with what I've created. You know, I've tried other platforms like Asana or whatever, and it hasn't really worked in the way that I want it until today. So I'm so happy with this. Um, and then moving down from that, I've got my business projects, which is basically all the work that I'm doing with my current clients. So I obviously won't show that to you because it's private stuff. Um, but basically, I save all the information I have about my clients in here. Um, I have an interactions calendar. I'm not really using as much as I should, but it's basically where I log all the communications I have with them. Um, and that's its emails. And then I also have, um, you know, all the tasks that I'm doing for them. I save them in that project thing as well and then I've got a little finance and accounting one which I just record my expenses for my business um, habit tracker and journal I've showed it to you reading list is just a template that came with notion so I've, I liked it but I haven't actually used it so I won't show you that um, and then finally the last thing I wanted to show you was my workout so I actually currently have um, a program that's designed for me by my online trainer Taylor and um, I'm currently working with like calisthenics and flexibility and strength and so every month she puts together a program for me I only started this month um, and she just sent me the new April one so what I do is I just copy the program she sent me and then I paste it in Notion and I do it in a toggle so it's really easily accessible um, and then when I'm ready to work out all I do is I grab my phone open a Notion app and then I've got my workout right there very simple um, so I don't have to like scramble for things you know so yeah that is basically my entire notion set up for content planning especially i found this incredibly useful i haven't seen anyone um that does it in this specific way i don't think maybe they have uh but i absolutely love the way that i'm doing it so if any of you are inspired by this and um you want to try it out let me know because i love to see how you kind of do it your way um, yeah, I'm a little bit geeky like that. I love planning stuff. Not very good at implementing them, but I'm, I'm, I'm a huge planner. So I hope this gives you as much joy as it's given me. I'm going to stop recording now and just jump back onto the other video and then say bye to you over there. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough of the way I organize my life in Notion and my business. It's 
a bit rough. It needs a lot of tweaking and maybe in a few months when I've got my system down pat, I will do another video on, you know, how I use it properly. But right now, this is how I've set it up um, according to what I've been inspired by from other channels and other users. Hopefully you found that useful and if you implemented any of these ideas that I've got, let me know. But apart from that, thanks so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed this, definitely I'd love for you to subscribe and comment down below for engagement for the algorithm and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye! <clears throat>